hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel if today is your first time stopping by you are also welcome my name is Laya Oladoni on this channel I bring to you Orishi Rishi yummy recipes I mean from Niger recipe to intercontinental delicacies so if you haven't yet subscribed what are you waiting for be part of this family guys click on the subscribe button and also click on that little bell icon so that you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. To those that have subscribed to my channel, I do really appreciate your support. Thank you all. So today's menu, as you can see, we have pepper soup. This is not your regular pepper soup, guys. This recipe is quite different. Look at the color of this pepper soup. It's giving me vibe already. Even seeing appearance, they look and make one to get really full. Without taking too much of your time, guys, let's just jump into it. And I will show you all how I make this yummy pepper soup, which is really unique and different. And trust me, it's different. As you can see now, I have bell pepper, which is not really what um, most people use onions ginger garlic and habanero pepper i don't use too much habanero pepper because i'm not the only one eating this my toddler is eating out of this pepper soup and i don't want it to be too spicy so you can use a lot of spice if you want but you need a lot of onions and i also use bell pepper bell pepper will give you that unique taste guys and that color so i have in here my catfish i already watched this catfish over the um off the camera I use hot water to take out the slimy stuff inside. Immediately you pour in hot water, don't leave it. Just take it out of that hot water. It's just for you to be able to take that slimy stuff out of it. And then I soak it with salt already. So now I, I grinded my pepper. I added my pepper. I added my pepper soup spice. And I also added diced onion also. We need a lot of onions in my pepper soup. It's one of the um, secrets. So, I'm going to go ahead now to add my crayfish, my grounded crayfish. Yes, guys, I use grounded crayfish for my pepper soup. It makes the taste to be unique as well. And I'm going to be adding my maggi non chicken. You can use any kind of maggi that you have, any kind of flavor that you have. But I use the non chicken maggi, as you can see. I don't use the keep one, I use the grounded one because it makes my life easier, you know. You know what I mean. I don't have to be struggling to um, get that um, keep one, spoon it out and all of that. So, now we have all of that already. My heat is on, as you can see. And I'm going to add just one tablespoon of oil. And we're going to be adding water. Yes, put a lot of water in that pepper soup. That is the main reason this is called pepper soup so guys we need water and you need to mix thoroughly guys this is another thing that is very very important because you cannot be stirring your um pepper soup because it's a fish pepper soup you can't be turning it around easily like normal way of turning stew around when you are cooking stew you have to be careful because we don't want to break our fish while cooking so as you can see, I'm using this wooden spoon. I want to make sure I get all the seasoning sitting on top of my catfish. I want to get them out into that juice. And I want to make sure everything is distributed evenly. And I'm going to go ahead to taste because I'm not adding salt. I want to make sure that that is okay. Remember, I soak it inside the salt water for like four hours after washing it. So that's why I'm not using salt. I'm going to cover and bring it to boil about five minutes. Um, catfish doesn't have to stay too long so now here we are again we're going to check on the status of our soup and i'm going to be using my wooden spoon again carefully moving my fish around so that i can taste that juice since i've already been it to boil i want to see the taste to make sure this is actually what i want and to make sure that this is balanced you know so i'll go ahead to taste for salt and for the seasoning remember we didn't add any salt earlier on but now i need some salt so i'm going to go ahead to add just a little bit of salt and i will shake it shake it thoroughly shake it like a salt shaker 
so we want to go ahead to shake it thoroughly guys make sure to shake very well so that um the seasoning will not stay in one side why it's not going to get through the other side because we cannot really mix uh pepper soup catfish thoroughly with our spoon because it's going to break and we don't want that so i'm going to cover up again for just two minutes this time around your catfish doesn't need too much heat it doesn't have to cook forever before you get it um cook all the way so now we are back again when i tasted it last time I did not see any spice at all in this pepper soup, although I don't want it too spicy, but hey, it's not even, there's no even spice at all. So I have my diced habanero. I will add that to it. So that will actually balance it for me and get to that um, spice level that I want. So now over uh, off the camera, I've already washed my mint leaf and I diced it very tiny. I like to dice my mint leaf tiny. Some people use the whole mint leaf, but I don't use it. Um, I dice it and I shake it up again and I taste it just to make sure and then I'm going to cover it and I'll put my heat in a very low heat this time just for everything to sit well and here we have our pepper soup guys let's have our pepper soup our pepper soup is ready leave your comment below what you're going to be pairing with your pepper soup some people they go ahead to pair with rice. I've seen some people pairing their pepper soup with rice. But me, I'm just going to be taking this soup and eating. As I'm taking a, a spoon of soup, taking the fish along with it. I don't pair mine with rice. I haven't tried it before, but I've seen people trying it. So comment below what you're going to be pairing this with. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now. Stay blessed.